the wall and you guys are getting a lot of info and then you're going to get the book we're going to do this amazing challenge together all these great things and within the next you know six to eight weeks you're going to be experts on all this stuff so let's talk a little bit about the microbiome how many of you have ever heard of something called leaky gut before so leaky gut's a big issue i spent the last 15 plus years of my career really battling leaky gut and having changing people's diets and putting them on seven eight to ten supplements and literally pulling out the hair that i had trying to solve this problem and now we have a straightforward solution with what we've got going on but i want to play a, a cute little simple video uh, that talks a little bit about leaky gut just so you can get an idea of kind of what we're up against we're going to educate big time on this together but let's play that video on leaky gut first please Intestines are lined with barrier cells, called epithelial cells, that transport nutrients from food into our bloodstream. These epithelial cells have tight junctions between them to ensure that no undigested food particles, digestive waste, or toxins escape into our blood and create health complications. Healthy epithelial cells are supported by a balanced microbiome of good and bad bacteria, which is supported by a nutrient-rich intestinal environment. Stress, poor diet, lack of exercise, and use of antibiotics can disrupt our microbiome and intestinal environment. These disruptions can lead to weak epithelial cells and loose epithelial junctions. Without tight junctions, undigested food particles, digestive waste, and toxins can leak out of our intestines and into our bloodstream, causing inflammatory immune responses, various digestive disorders, and changes to the normal function of the digestive tract. This is often called leaky gut. So what can you do about it? A nutrient-rich intestinal environment helps support a healthy microbiome, which helps support strong epithelial cells and tight epithelial junctions. Therefore, an effective way to help prevent leaky gut is to maintain a healthy, nutrient-rich intestinal environment. This can be achieved with whole food and plant-based nutritional intake, good eating habits, and lifestyle management techniques like stress reduction and exercise. So leaky gut is a major issue, and we're gonna do a lot of uh, uh, training together on this. So you're gonna find that this is a problem that most of you have. In fact, I'm gonna give you a real simple way to remember, you guys can go do this tomorrow. Well, depending upon what you do tonight, it might affect your test a little bit. I know we're in Las Vegas, but anyway, when you get home, you can do it this way. So first thing in the morning before you get out of bed, well, before you, when you get out of bed, before you eat anything, brush your teeth, uh, uh, you know, drink anything, get a glass of water, get a, just a full glass, fill it up. It's gotta be a glass glass. Take that glass and spit in it and let that spit sit for about 15 minutes. That spit, if you have a healthy bacteria, it should stay floating at the top of the, of the cup. If it starts to streak or hit the bottom, you've got bacterial issues. And, and that's, that's a sign that why your body's out of balance. I'm telling you that the root cause of so many problems that people have is this leaky gut issue. And it's really simple to deal with if you know you have the problem. How many of you understand that if, if you know the problem, it becomes easy to fix it? There's so many folks that are, that are walking around with symptoms today because it's like their check engine lights going off in their car, right? How many of you have ever had that happen before? Your check engine lights going off in your car, well, just taking a piece of tape or putting a picture of your dog or your kids over it doesn't fix that problem. You gotta take it in and find out what the issue is. The testing we have reveals that, but these therapeutics that we have on our, our master microbiotic formula really is the solution to this. So I'd like to play a little promo video on the microbiome, uh, master microbiotics, then I'll come back out and talk a little bit about the problem, okay? Bloating, fatigue, Digestive discomfort, skin issues, and chronic inflammation. These symptoms plague millions of us every day, and simply treating our symptoms just isn't working. Many times, at the root of these problems is an imbalanced gut microbiome, our modern lifestyle, chronic stress, processed foods, and rampant antibiotic use are wreaking havoc on our gut health. 
This imbalance can lead to leaky gut, a condition where harmful substances leak into the bloodstream, causing widespread inflammation, digestive issues, anxiety, cognitive problems, skin conditions, and joint pain all can stem from leaky gut, and its partner, leaky brain. It's time to stop treating and masking the symptoms we suffer from and start addressing their root cause. And that starts with mastering your microbiome. Nearly 2,500 years ago, the great Greek physician Hippocrates, known as the father of medicine, famously said, all disease begins in the gut. As we fast forward to today, we know he was onto something. 90% of our immune system resides in the gut, and each time we eat, drink, or come into contact with chemicals, antibiotics, or hormones, we are either nurturing our health or contributing to our diseases. Astonishingly, we have more bacterial cells in and on our body than we do human cells. Around 100 trillion of these organisms reside in our gut and are collectively known as the microbiome. This microbiome helps break down food, process vitamins and minerals for absorption, and protect against harmful pathogens. It communicates with our immune system and influences our brain and emotional health through the gut-brain axis. With a well-balanced microbiome, we are potentially addressing the root cause of some of our symptoms, allowing for increased energy levels, smoother digestion, clearer skin, less inflammation, and a more stable mood. A healthy gut and a mastered microbiome means a healthier you. Knowing where most probiotics and prebiotics fall short, we developed a patented solution, BioLimitless's Master Microbiotics. Featuring our spore-based master microbes designed to recolonize your gut. Master Microbiotics utilizes our advanced phytomicro encapsulation technology, a clinically proven delivery system allowing a payload of master microbes to survive harsh stomach acids and recolonize the small intestine. Unique to our formula, not only do our spore-based microbes survive in the stomach, but as the plant-based encapsulation shell dissolves, it becomes a prebiotic, feeding the master microbes as they work to effectively rebuild your microbiome. Mastering your microbiome could be the key to healing your leaky gut and leaky brain, enhancing your cellular health, supporting healthy organs, optimizing nutrient absorption, and boosting your immunity. Okay, this one's gonna be a lot of fun. So I've already recorded a bunch of videos and content that's gonna be on the website. You guys can go and learn about this formula, but one of the cool things that you're gonna love about this, how many of you ever heard of something called the Blue Zones? Yes. The Blue Zones are areas of the world wherever people typically live to be 100 years old or more, but they're productive. And multiple studies have been done to look at the bacteria and the fungi that's in those individuals' uh, bodies, because that's what helps them live longer, live healthy, reduces the risk of disease and disease. We took the microbes and the bacteria that are normally in that population of those individuals that are not in industrialized uh, civilizations like our areas that most of us live in, we put those in that formula. And we use, we use a real spe specific type of bacteria, a spore-based bacteria that helps colonize. And we've done before and after fecal samples to show that not only do these get into the GI tract, but they actually culture, which means, you know, I know I talk about poop a lot, but it's part of my job. Uh, we take those samples and we're able to show that later on those bacteria recolonate uh, and, and they're alive, which is the ultimate keystone to this. So the master microbiotic, the, the phytomicro encapsulation technology is really the key to get those spore-based microbes past the GI tract. I'm telling you, you combine BPC-157, that tripeptide formula that already has cellular gut healing capabilities with the right type of microbiome technology, and what's gonna happen is absolutely amazing. We're gonna talk about this afternoon something that I wanna get all of you engaged in, a challenge if you will, because I know that in 45 days or less, if you put these two products into place, you change a couple simple little things about your lifestyle that you should be doing. I mean, simple things. 
Like if you're a couch potato, we can have a change in your life in 45 days. If you're a elite athlete, I know there's a light in there, we can have a huge change in your cellular health in 45 days. What if I told you there were things that can be done that in 45 days or less, we can reduce a lot of the symptoms that people are dealing with. Chronic inflammation, blood pressure issues, cholesterol stuff, blood sugar, we can do that. So this formula is really powerful. It's, it's one of my favorites that are out there and for lots of reasons, but I will tell you, there was a really prominent study that was done by Dr. Jeff Gordon, not the race car driver, but Dr. Jeff Gordon. Um, and they did uh, testing on obese rats and skinny rats. And then they've done this with humans as well. They took the fecal matter out of the, uh, the overweight, obese, diabetic rats, put it into the skinny rats. And guess what happened to the skinny, healthy rats? They turned into the diabetic, overweight rats. And then when they switched it, vice versa because our bacteria determines how we lose weight, how our metabolism works. They did the same thing. They done fecal transplants between healthy bacteria, uh, organisms and unhealthy, and their moods changed. Depression went away, inflammation went away. So it really truly is the bacteria and fungus in our GI tract that's so important that most of us in this room, because of the fact that we have too many antibiotics in our life, we have too much stress, and most of us eat the uh, standard American type diet, which puts 95, listen to this, this is, we wanna talk about a market share, 95% of the world's population has this problem, 95%. If we go out and crusade this, we can change people's lives and change it forever. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, so now, you, you've heard me talk about this app for a while, right? You wanna demo it a little bit? Yeah, let's do that. So what I want to do now is I want to show you a little bit of what we're going to be giving you, the Bottle Limitless.life app. We are using a tremendous amount of technology with everything that we're doing. Let's see if that comes up. There we go. So what if there was a tool that you could have on your phone? that your DNA genetic test could go on, your blood testing could go on, your brain cognitive skill test could go on. All this was here that really lays out the blueprint and picture of you. And you had an interactive app that you could work with that was AI driven that could give results to you that you've never had before. That's what this is. So let me show you a couple really cool pieces of this. So first thing, if you look at this, the bottom it says cognitive age, okay? Cognitive age is the age of your brain. I think my wife would probably laugh because it says I'm 21 years old right here. Sometimes I'm like 15, right? But I'm not 21 years old if you didn't know that, okay? But my biological cognitive function is at that. So there's literally, you can go through here and we can run an assessment and we can literally test your brain function. And once you do that, you can see how your reasoning, your memory, your attention, your motor skills, your perception skills are. Why are those important? Because if your perception skills are off when you're driving, that could be a problem. When your perception skills are off when you're walking down the stairs, you have a higher risk of twisting your ankle, breaking your hip. If you have issues with memory, that's, I mean, there's so many things that we can measure with this. We can measure your focused attention, your visual recognition, your, your preparedness. All of these are known neurological tests that we can do to measure cognitive age. And then we go up here to the top right and press training. And we can literally do a training protocol, if it'll pull up for me, with neurofeedback. And the training for the brain neurofeedback is literally simple things that you can do on your phone, task-oriented skills that I was just speaking to a gentleman behind uh, the screen a minute ago in the green room and he says, hey, there's this app that I use when I go to sleep at night, I do this for five minutes and I sleep better. This is neurofeedback. So we literally can play games on our brain retraining phone app that you have to make your brain younger. Folks, your brain's a muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it. And Sudoku puzzles ain't gonna fix your problem. So this is really powerful technology, just that alone right there. So that's, that's amazing. Let me show you a couple other things that we can do. Not only can we, can we um, can measure our cognitive function. Remember earlier I told you that there's some technology that we can use. I don't know if you know this, but during COVID, there was a lot of major advancements that have been done in the, uh, the, the photo world where they can measure your face and see if you have risk for infections or how your vitamin and mineral balance are, your hydration and et cetera. We now can measure your biological and chronological age through your face. 
Now, I've been speaking all day and I'm a little dehydrated, so I'm nervous to do this, but I'm gonna show you a demo of how simple this is that we can do. And by the way, could you imagine if somebody went on here, did their face scan, which I'm gonna take my glasses off because that makes you look older. And they're able to get an idea of what their face balance looks like. Let's see, perfect, move closer. Oh, what a good looking guy. Boom, picture's taken, submit that. Now, 30 seconds later, it's gonna analyze my face. It's gonna analyze my lines, my wrinkles, my bags, my eyeballs, and it's gonna tell me the good, the bad, the ugly. And this can change on a daily basis. But, let's go check this out, let's get my stats. But what if you were able to measure your face health, which is an indication of your overall body health, and it was 20 years older than what your chronological age is. And then you were able to put X, Y, and Z into a lifestyle, and then, then you tested that 45 days later and it went, it went younger. How powerful is that? Yeah. It really is some amazing technology. Whoops, so here's my stats, let's see what it says. Okay, so my face, okay, so I'm super dehydrated. My face says it's 40. I'm, I'm not, I'm younger, I'm a little older than 40, so I'll take that. My eye bags are on point, my eye age. You can see how your pores look. It gives you an idea of where your body's at physiologically. I mean, it's pretty powerful technology. Isn't that great? Now check this out. Those are cool, but this is super cool. By the way, isn't this just, how, like, how sexy is the colors of this? It's pretty cool to look at. So, so now I go to my home screen and I go, all right, let me look at my DNA results. This is my own genetic test. So I can go through here and get it. This is my first page is the summary. Kind of gives you like an overall, what are the things that you should know about the most about you? What risk factors you have, etc. But let's say I want to know more about my diet. So I'm going to click on the dietary one. So my body says, okay, you have an okay response to carbohydrates. It's a normal response. Well, how do we know that? You can click on that link. It tells you what genes we measured. It tells you about the carbohydrate response, how your body responds, specifically how you respond to things. And then you go down here, it shows you um, recommendations you can do. Then it shows you references with all the NIH.gov data to support the response of what you should do. So you can learn a tremendous amount about your health by how you process carbs, fats, proteins. You know, like my body needs a lot of protein. My body doesn't do very well with sugar. If I, if I have um, high risk for snacking or metabolic issues, or look, like my body doesn't do well. Who's ever, who's ever done a yo-yo diet before where they, they go for a while, they lose weight, and then they, they rebound back up higher again? Do you know there's genes that predispose you to that? Yo-yo diet genes are right here. You know, so with all this information, we can put together a genetic profile and a plan for you. You can now go and look at your, all your health insights. So if you wanna learn about you from an anti-aging, an eye, a gut health, a heart, immune, injury risk, mental health, uh, muscle health, skin, sleep, stress, you can go through all those. You know, when Dr. Porter was talking about mental health, there are genes that we can measure that tell us if we have predisposition to certain issues. Look, if I have a predisposition for dopamine addiction and I know that I'm, I have a higher risk for addiction, then I can actually put something into my life I can get positively addicted to that's gonna help me. Do you understand that? As opposed to being addicted to something that's gonna cause problems. It says attention span. Mine says slightly lower. Okay, well, that makes sense. There's genes in here. See this one that says workaholic gene? This is also the other all of genes, the alcoholic, the, the, any type of high dopamine response. So knowing these genes and how your body can respond to them is really a powerful tool. If you wanna find out about your risk for injuries, this is something we do a lot with athletes. By the way, you should know this as well. So for example, there are genes that cause a high risk for low back pain, bone and joint issues, Achilles problems. You know, there are people that actually have higher genetic predisposition for Achilles issues, knee issues, back issues, and et cetera. Well, if you know that you should be doing X, Y, and Z exercises to help yourself prevent that, don't you think that would be a powerful thing to do? So you can actually, once you get done with your testing, look at all this stuff you can do. 
You can, you can get your health insights. You can look at the quality of your air, your genetic action plan. Your genetic action plan, you go through and you answer a series of questions. What goals are you trying to accomplish and et cetera. And it takes all that information and gives you a plan that you can do and it can track your lifestyle and we can actually go here and go, okay, let's look at my DNA diet. So based off of what I'm trying to accomplish, I can change my calorie intake and, and, and et cetera based off of my lifestyle. And then I can look at my micronutrients, my calories, my splits, how much water, what supplements I should have. I mean, we can track and monitor everything from this. I think it's also pretty cool that, you know, I think it was uh, Dr. Porter and CJ both mentioned the fact that, you know, we have a movement deficiency. There's so many problems we have because of lack of movement, but what if there were some simple movements that you could do to help improve your body? So like based off of my own genetic plan, if I go and I say, all right, I want to know what's a good workout plan for me. Okay, so I can click on this workout plan and it says, all right, if you did these three days on, one day off, one day on, that's the first week of exercise for you. Week two looks like this, week three looks like that. And if I don't know what exercises to do, I can click my little button and then I can watch a video of how to do these exercises. Yeah, that's so it literally is a mobile app to help you give you the map, the keys in the car to everything that you could possibly wanna have. And we can put other health monitoring on here. We're gonna API with wearable tech, sleep tech, all this stuff. Imagine if you could control all, not, not just getting your blood test in one spot, but actually what do you do about it, right? Like how many of you are so sick and tired of going to doctors and doing certain tests and then you get done and, and you don't know what to do? You, what if there's some things you could do? Well, this application helps you do that. We're gonna go through a bunch of a bunch of classes together on how to utilize this. It's kind of like an Apple Watch. The first time I got my Apple Watch, I was like, this thing's broken, I don't know how to use it. Now it's freaking amazing. So the same thing's gonna be true for this app. So what do you think about this app and the information on here? It's pretty cool, right? So let me ask you a question. How many of you guys thought this morning session was good so far? Yeah? Awesome. Same here. I'm so glad that you're enjoying this. You know, the first half of the day has all been about the healthcare component. When we come back after our lunch break, we're going to talk a lot about how the two worlds collide in the wealth component. Because I'm telling you, our systems can help you get healthy, which can also help you get wealthy in so many ways that you can't even imagine. But before we take a, a, a short break, because we're going to have a lunch break and we're going to come back at 2 o'clock. Everybody say 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Be in your seats at two o'clock, we have a lot to cover this afternoon. But before we do that, since we're shifting from healthcare to wealthcare, I wanna bring up somebody who really has become a, like a brother from another mother to me. Um, someone who just has a, um, a heart of just gold and has a calm intensity. When I measured his brain, so by the way, just so you guys know, I had Jeremy, Lily, and Edward all in my office about a year and a half ago and I measured their brains. And let me tell you, you can tell a lot about somebody's brain and how their personality reflects it. And, and Jeremy's got this beautiful just brain that's blown up with all these colors. He's got all these great ideas. And then you got, you got Edward who's got this just like calm intensity on his brain. It's so perfectly blue. It's like, this guy's like a Zen monk, right? He's so balanced. And then you got Ilya who's bouncing between the both of them. It's like, man, it's just so fun being with these, these guys. But would you guys please uh, allow me the, the opportunity to introduce someone who really is a world changer, a game changer, uh, my good friend, so if you guys would please stand, big round of applause for Edward Kimson, please come to the stage.